check your LTSS status? Is that what you're saying? Listen, because I'm, I'm thinking that's really what you're saying. I get calls so many times of the day. Yo, I watched your video. I applied. I don't know if they, they got me in. I don't know where my application's at. I, I'm trying, Casey. I'm trying to get there, but I really don't know. You know what I'm saying? So that could be it. That could be it. Listen, I'm going to tell you the answer. Will I do it for you or not? But you got to stick around to the end. I'm telling you. I'm, I'm, I'm going to promise you something. But you got to stick around to the end. I got you. All right? So look. Right now, if you don't know who I am, my name is Kion Church. You know what I mean? I, I help everybody out with their in-home health care needs. I'm your in-home health care guy, you know? Now, that's really special, but it's, it's one real person that we like a whole lot. We love financially challenged family members who uh, want to become paid caregivers through the Medicaid long-term health care program. Now, if that's you, because, you know, you're putting a lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of work in with your loved ones and you feel like, yo, I should be getting paid for this. You know what I'm saying? I know it's something out there for me. Then, you know, you're the kind of person I like talking to. But today is about all about the person, the member, the insurance member, the Medicaid person who's trying to get into the LTSS program. Today is about you because you seem to have the most questions, you know, so I'm going to help you as much as I can. If you're here with me now in the live, hashtag live. If you're here with me in the rebroadcast, I got something in my eye. If you're here with me in the rebroadcast, hashtag rebroadcast. You know, we want to let everybody know that uh, you was here with us today. You got all the information first. Absolutely. So look, if you're watching this on other platforms, other forms of social media, whatever, subscribe to the channel. You know what I mean? Subscribe. Um... You know, download some, uh, if you if you listen on podcast land, land, download as many episodes as you can. All right? What's up, Cousin Dave? How you doing today, man? Good to see you. Now, listen, a lot of people are getting kind of, uh, you know, discouraged and they really don't know what to do because it's, you know, just dealing with these Medicaid people, man, takes you such a long time to get ahead. Good afternoon, my cousin. Keep up the good work. Love you and the family. Yo, man, we love you too, Cousin Dave, man. Keep up that good cooking. Yo, my boy, it's my cuz right here for real, but he he led down, man. He take care of a lot of people. He a big-hearted caregiver from the muscle, for real, for real. We love you, cuz. So, look, don't get discouraged. Don't let Medicaid discourage you. I don't know. Sometimes they're here to help, man, and they give you everything. Sometimes they be like, hey, man, pump the brakes, and, and you know, we'll, we'll call you in a minute. It's like, you know, what they say, uh, they got you on hurry up and wait. You know what I mean? So sometimes, you know, I got some good friends. You know, I made a lot of connections with this Medicaid thing, man. And then, you know, KC, a people person. So I met a lot of people. So sometimes I'm able to ask, you know, certain questions that may not be able to be, you know, asked by the average, uh, you know, in-home healthcare guy. You know what I'm saying? But I'm the official. So sometimes I call up and I be like, hey, what's happening with my people's application? Yeah, they've been, they been put it in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what's up? The financial thing worked, right? Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. We got we got the uh, comprehensive medical report. Yeah, okay. Well, when are they going to schedule them for an interview? Okay, Mr. Church, this is what you need to do. Call such and such. Boom. Okay, click up. Boom. That's all it is. And then I call with the information. Yo, this is what you need to do. They said uh, such and such, the case manager, call over here. This lady got this, the bam, you know what I mean? Lots of times I've been able to help people. And sometimes that's really all that you need. You might need just a little bitty helping hand, you know what I'm saying? Just to get over the fence, you know what I mean? Because it's all your information, they already got it all. But at the same time, you know, sometimes they be dragging their feet. I don't know what they doing, you know what I mean? But if you need that little bit of help, man, call me, man. You know, I know people, man. You know, it is what it is, man. Stop looking at my lip, man. It was cold this morning. I came outside. My lip just cracked like shh. Oh, y'all ever do that? <laughs> I don't know, man. It was like 20 degrees around here today, man. I don't know. We ain't got no snow or no freezing rain, thank God. But the temperature is crazy, man. If where you at, the temperature is crazy, man. You know, put in there hashtag crazy temperature. You know what I mean? If you're watching this live, hashtag live. If you're watching this in a rebroadcast, hashtag rebroadcast. If you need me to help you out and call and see where your application is at, yo, hashtag Where's my application, Casey? What's my status? Listen, I get all that for you. I find out who your case manager is. I find out who your financial worker is. I find out uh, I find out when they're going to put you in. 
You know what I mean? And it's usually sweet. You know, so if you already Medicaid, all you want to do is to get into the LTSS program. That's the program that's going to benefit you to get your people's paid. You know what I mean? That's that's what's going to keep you some permanent stability in your household, you know, and keep that money coming in. You know what I mean? Because everybody can't be running in and out. You got to think of yourself. This is what I tell people all the time. If you're in the program, you got to think of yourself. I know if I had some money to pay somebody, they probably going to sit around here and do it for me because they love me. But if I got a couple of dollars and they can come out and I could come out at the same time, it would probably be easier. You know what I mean? Life is way more easier when the wheel is greased. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. You know, and Medicaid got it out here for you because they don't want to pay for that that uh, that nursing home. That nursing home, like a couple hundred dollars a day, man. A couple hundred dollars a day. They'd rather keep you on the outside. Rather keep you on the outside. So look, if you already did your financial part of your application, you don't know what's going on. If you already, uh, if 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 you already had your medical portion, you know, the nurse or the doctor or uh, or uh, you know whoever it was that's in your in your corner signed off. You know, what I mean, what's up, cuz? Whatever they did, and you can't figure it out, call me. Let me know. 302-689-3240. 3240 Gotta say it like that. Listen, <laughs> my teacher said, "Listen, I'm gonna say it one more time for the slow people." He he didn't know he was talking to me though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so look, I gotta go, man. Don't let anybody shame or blame you into thinking that you know doing things for other people other than yourself is a bad thing. Even if you think that calling KC, you know, you don't want to bother KC. Don't worry about it. Call me. Call me. I handle it. You want to find out which stat status your application? Listen, I got pulled over there. I ain't even going to tell y'all. I got, listen, they love me. <laughs> I'm telling you. Call me. 302-689-3240. Hashtag your city. Hashtag your state. Hashtag y'all. I'm subscribed. You know what I mean? Make sure y'all uh, y'all on all the lives with me. Everything you can do, man. Put your cousin's name in the comment, and don't forget to share this because it's definitely some folks in your family that need this info, all right? Connecting the paychecks to pockets. I'll talk to you later. Peace.